Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now today's video, we have a video on the Hype House and because there's been a lot of controversy surrounding it and you know, it's just something I gotta cover because that's my job here. Now before I start the video, I just wanna let you know that during this quarantine period, you know, all this virus stuff that's going on, I do plan to daily upload pretty much during this quarantine thing. As you would've known already, I have been daily uploading for quite a while now, uh, so I'm gonna try keep that up. So uh, yeah, if that interests you, then you should probably subscribe because Every day there'll be a new video coming out, no matter what it is, that there'll be a video coming out. If you guys could follow my socials, they'll be linked in the description, my Twitter at GliderYT, my Instagram GliderGuyYT. I post daily on them, so if that interests you, then you should go and follow them. 10 likes in this video in 24 hours, uh, if we hit that like goal, then and that'd be amazing, thank you. Every like really does support the channel, so yeah, that, that'll be great. It takes two seconds, brother, two seconds. So the topic of the video is the Hype House, and how people are being sued, people are leaving, it's just a complete shambles. So what is the Hype House? The Hype House is a bunch of TikTok creators, you know, the, you know the, those funny dance moves, you know, that, that amazing thing. Basically, it's a, it's a bunch of celebrities in one house. It's basically the Cloud House, but, but before, but better. There's about 19 people in this thing, which makes me baffled. Oh my god, that... Bro, there's so many of them and there's even more than than there's on this list so like bro, I don't know how they cope now obviously seeing that there's 19 people in this house it's bound to fail at some point like there's no way that they can keep that up so we all know Charlie D'Amelio you know the TikTok star with like 50 million followers for some reason. I don't understand how. Still, I made a video on Charlie D'Amelio before, so if you click the eye on the top right, you can watch that video. But anyway, let's keep going with this. Charlie D'Amelio has a boyfriend, and we, we all know that the main man himself, the main guy with curtains and skeleton bones, Lil Huddy. Lil Huddy's like two years older than Charlie. I, I, I don't know if that's legal at all. Apparently, Lil Huddy is turning 18 in like two months, and Charlie D'Amelio will be 15, so uh, that is illegal. No, but basically, everything was going well. I think they started the hype house in like January or February or something and then all of a sudden uh, every, everything went went to complete crap one of the team members left um, And then that wasn't too bad, you know, everyone just thought okay She obviously wasn't happy. She wants to do her own thing But then this happens the member who left goes by the name of Daisy Keach and she also has a TikTok. Obviously you can't be in the hype house unless you're a famous TikTok star So out of nowhere Daisy Keach decides it'd be a great idea to sue Lil Huddy and Thomas P Petru. Why is it all these controversy videos all the people like they have ridiculous last names that I can't pronounce Okay, but anyway, they do decide to sue Lil Huddy and Thomas Petru and Thomas Petru He's basically one of the former team team 10 members and we all know how that went So we all knew this was gonna be crap. So she sued both of them and uh, th this article basically shows why uh, they, she basically sued them. She claimed that although she had a large investment sum to get a deposit down the property known as the Hype House, which, which we all know and love by the way, and founded collectively alongside Thomas Petru and Chase Hudson, she was being left out of decision making behind collective opportunities such as brand, brand deals and press events. So I'm guessing Daisy Keach is basically like one of the co-owners of the Hype House, which it's a pretty big role to have being a but being being such a highly placed, I'm, I'm really going to stop talking. What the hell? But basically, she said that she's being investing a ton of money into this house, and she's basically getting nothing out of it, which is a pretty big deal. Basically, she's being left out of brand deals and press events and all this stuff when she's one of the co-owners. Like that is a big problem, and it just looks like the Lil Huddy and Thomas are just making decisions on their own without her, and th th it's not like they're it's not like that they forget to bring her in. It's like they're pushing her out of it. But you never know. Like we haven't heard both sides of the story yet. We've we've just heard Daisy. So in the article quoted her saying this we can't even have any group decisions he somehow has the authority over everyone he has that because he's the one with all the access to social media accounts and emails she added while discussing Thomas Petru's control over the group so here's the vibe I'm getting at the moment Thomas Petru is like the main owner like the main person in all of this and then Lil Huddy and uh, Daisy are basically co-owners. Or maybe that's wrong and they're all meant to be co-owners. But basically Thomas has got access to all like the Hype House TikTok and all the emails and all that. So I'm guessing that's why he thinks he has authority over everyone. But if some people are co-owners of the, of the thing, like you're meant to include them in discussions. Like I don't know why Thomas is doing this. Or maybe he's not doing this and Daisy's lying. But then again, if Daisy was lying, then she wouldn't be suing him, wouldn't he? Now at this point, I don't know why Lil Huddy's being so like sued because it doesn't look like Lil Huddy's done anything wrong but maybe maybe Lil Huddy's in on this as well but I guess we're just going to find out. She also claimed that Petru would have turned down any opportunities for other members of the house despite them wanting to take part in them adding that it's not your decision I make all the decisions around here during heated debates with other Hype House stars. Now at this point Thomas is done like Thomas he's been exposed like there's nothing you can do at this point. It's not your decision I make all the decisions around here 
Now that's that's where it kind of draws a line. If other people are co-owners of the hype house, you need to include them in something, especially if they're investing a ton of money into the house. Like if they're putting all their like hard work and life savings into it, it's not even about how much work they put into it. It's the fact that they put money into it and the fact that they, they, they have a right to be in decision making. The fact that Thomas has just turned this around and just he's made it crap pretty much. I don't know what to say at this point. Like Thomas, like... Ugh. He, like, Daisy, for all I know, could be lying, but I doubt it. So at this point, from just, from just Daisy's side, Petru, like, he's done. He's completely done. So at this point, since, since she's suing Lil Huddy, I'm guessing that, basically, uh, Lil Huddy's in on this as well, and Lil Huddy is doing this as well. So my thoughts is that Thomas, if this is all true, and this is, like, this is what I'm getting at right here, Thomas should be cancelled. I mean, I hate, like, cancel community and all that, like, it's so cringe, but I really feel like there should be something done to him. Like, I think su suing him should be enough, but, like, I, it, it is really messed up to be doing what he's doing and for Daisy to step up and do this like that is like that that's really good on her part for doing that like if she's being treated poorly like good on her anyway that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed uh, the hype house I, I knew we all knew it we all knew this was gonna happen anyway if you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to the channel we've been growing pretty well at the moment uh, we've been getting like 10 subs a day so if we could keep that up if we can need a thousand subs by 2021 I reckon that'd be amazing so if we could do that that'd be nuts anyway if you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll See you on the next one.